Hello guys, my name is Joseph Connor and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to use actions in Photoshop. So let's just jump over into Photoshop and I can show you how this tutorial works. Um, so, actions. I did make a, a video about this um, the other day and I just want to cover it again um, because I want to show you the real power of actions and what you can do with actions. So in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add an effect to multiple images. What I mean by that is let's say you have like a thousand images and you create an effect on, on one of the images. I want to show you how you can automatically add that effect to the rest of um, the images you have. So say for example you had a thousand images you can add that effect to that entire batch without actually having to do anything. So I'll just show you how to do that with the actions. So let me just open up my image first. So we'll go open and then I've got some beautiful images of the Lake District. Um, so let me just select A and what I'm going to do is I'm going to going to apply a kind of a simple effect to this image. I'm going to uh, apply a, a low mo effect which is kind of like a um, you know like a retro kind of with a vignette on it. So I'll just take you through the process of that. Um, so if you go into your actions um, your actions tab uh, by either going to this little play button here or going to window and then down to actions and then alt F9 will bring up this tab here um, so once you're in there you want to create a new action which is this kind of little symbol here which is the same as the layer symbol down here as well if you can see it and just click that and then you'll get this box up here so you kind of want to name your actions something you know uh, in relation to what the action is so I'm going to call this low mo low mo and then all you want to do is click record so now be careful now because um, once you click record as you can see you can see the little record button so once you've done that everything you do in Photoshop will be recorded um, so if I click on that and then put you know a box on here it'll record it so you need to be careful on what you're selecting so to apply the low more effect what you need to do is you need to go down to your adjustments layer here which is this little symbol here click on that and then you want to go up to levels and then you want to go up to RGB and then take that down to red and then really what you want to do is you want to pull this kind of sort of in the middle and then pull that one kind of sort of in the middle there and yep I'm pretty happy with that so then we'll close that tab and now I want to add a vignette on there so what you need to do is you need to go up to filter and then oops sorry <laughs> You need to click on the background first, and then you need to make the background into a smart object. Sorry about that. Uh, convert to smart object, and then you need to go to filter, and then lens correction. So you'll get your image like that now, and then go up to custom, down to vignette, and then take that up to about 100. Uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. And then click OK, and now you've got a vignette so once your image is kind of like that uh, just hit the stop button and that is your action recorded and um, so I'll show you what I mean so we'll close this image now so don't save that and then we'll open the same image up again so lakes A and we'll apply that action to that image so if you just press play it'll go through all those steps and then just apply the same effect again so that is a basic run through of how actions work so now what we want to do is we want to apply that effect to all of these images here so rather than having to open them all up and then hit the play button on the actions tab on each individual one we can set that up as a process to do that automatically 
So the way you do that is you go up to File, down to Automate, and then you click on Batch. And you should get this little screen here, which is basically the Batch kind of um, option screen. And it might vary for um, different versions of Photoshop. You might get like more options or less options. Um, but just follow these kind of steps on your particular Photoshop. So we've got batch and play set. So set one is the uh, action here. Um, it's a good idea to to kind of name your sets. Uh, so you'll probably name that low more. So you could. You, you could find where it is and inside the set is the actual action so you see here set set one and then the action here Lomo so yep we've got that selected now you want to select your source folder so you want to select um, where the images are so if you click on choose and then you just go into this tab here and find where all your images are saved so preferably try and save your images in all in in the same location so Photoshop can find them um, and then just click OK once you're happy with that you just go choose and then you go down to the file that you want um, make sure that you have this selected here suppress file open options dialogs um, because sometimes if you don't have that selected uh, it won't apply the effect to each individual image so once you're all good to go here just click OK and Photoshop should go through uh, its little process so so you just let Photoshop do its thing du, 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 du. and once it's gone through hang on it's still thinking and once it's gone through um, you can have a look at each individual image and it's applied the effects to each individual image without you actually having to do anything so all you've really done is you've just done the process on one image saved it down and then you've set it up to apply it to all those images in that folder so it's a pretty uh, pretty cool way to uh, save time and do quite a lot of work in a short amount of time um, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial guys I really hope it's um, been interesting and I really hope it helps you guys out uh, I've got plenty more um, tutorials coming in the in the next few weeks so please stay tuned for that and I hope you guys have a great day